What is up with this wind? Good morning, everybody. Sunday morning here in, uh, actually in Plano, Texas today. And I'm doing a little shopping this morning after I got my coffee. And I got coffee this morning at Corner Bakery here in Plano because Dawn is out of town, so we didn't meet for breakfast like we normally do. So welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If this is your first time here, uh, you're in the right place. If you're passionate about motorcycling, doesn't matter what you ride, you're welcome to uh, hang out with me for a few minutes and just listen to me babble about uh, riding the bike or whatever else we talk about. And today, the topic is wind. That's the main topic. But if you haven't done so already, I would like to invite you to take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click the notification bell and that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. <clears throat> now we have a pretty big goal this year. We'd like to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's a big goal for a channel like this, but I think we can do it if you help us out. I would like to uh, take a second to thank all of you uh, that that sent your condolences and your uh, your nice thoughts uh, on the last motor vlog where I mentioned Ricky had lost her mother that she passed away on Palm Sunday and. Uh, there was a, a real outpouring of concern and affection and I uh, I know that Ricky appreciates that in her family and I do appreciate it thank you very much so we'll get past that and as I mentioned in my last video I'm in the process of getting the bike ready to do a road trip out to West Texas and yesterday I did an oil change. It was time for me to do an oil change. Now I change my oil about every 3,500 to 4,000 miles, which is much sooner than what Honda recommends. But uh, I just, you know, I, I enjoy doing it and I feel better knowing that the oil is fresh. Uh, I'm also planning to do a final drive uh, change out the final drive fluid but as I was looking through my parts in the garage I noticed I did not have a new o-ring for the uh, you know the fill the fill plug I didn't want to risk taking that off and having that o-ring damaged and not being able to put a new one back on so I'm gonna wait until I get a new o-ring before I do that just to be safe I uh, don't I didn't want to take you know take it off and then not be able to get it all back together for the road trip but today's topic is wind and man has it been a windy year in fact I saw on the local weather the other night that this is the windiest summer we've had since like 1963 in the Dallas Fort Worth area Now I wasn't here in 1963 but uh, it's certainly the windiest I can remember springtime uh, since I've lived here. Just consistent 30, 40 mile an hour gust winds. Uh, in fact, some of you may remember a few weeks ago, we had that little fire in our backyard that burned part of our fence and I had to replace the fence. Well, my neighbor's fence got it really bad my next door neighbor's yard completely burned and it burned a lot of their fence and their fence wasn't in very good shape anyway our fence is uh, stained and treated and theirs wasn't and it they, they had an older fence than we had but anyway 
they just a f just I mean a few days ago had ha had a guy come out and replace their entire fence in their backyard and which is not cheap some of you if you've built a wood fence you know it's not an inexpensive thing I think they even installed metal posts I know they did where they put up a gate and they they had just finished it like two days three days ago and two days ago a big huge tree in their backyard this is how windy it was it blew that tree down and crashed into part of their brand new fence they hadn't had the fence up more than 24 hours before that tree fell and destroyed their fence I mean what a what a bunch of rotten luck for them uh, so and I doubt that it's going to be enough to make an insurance claim simply because it probably only destroyed one or two sections of fence but still it's going to cost them a few hundred dollars to fix that I'm in the process of replacing some of the pickets that got burned on our fence I'm almost finished but I haven't been able to finish because of the wind I have to do some staining and there's no way I'm not going to stain in my garage or in the house obviously so I'm waiting till we get some nice calm weather this is actually a decent morning for us but you can see the if I don't know if you can see the flags up here uh, as I go by uh, past this McDonald's but it's still pretty windy out of the winds coming out of the south I'd say at about 30 miles an hour 25 to 30 miles an hour right now not sure if you can see those flags we'll be passing a big flag up here uh, before too much longer you might be able to see it there so I told you I did my oil change this is the first oil change that I've done since I had installed the traction uh, engine guard and I tested out a new technique on how to uh, remove that engine guard a little more easily I don't know if you can hear this wind hitting me from the south from the left to right but anyway uh, and it worked perfectly I, it's a great idea if you if you uh, it just takes one little relatively inexpensive tool and it just makes the job much easier it's also a multi-purpose tool that you can use for other things and if you want to know what that is and how I did that make sure you watch my video on doing I just called it the traction oil change because I couldn't think of a better name so watch the video on traction oil change I'll put a link in this video once that video is released I don't have it out yet it might be it might be a couple more days before I get it edited because this video should be out tonight and uh, we're getting ready to pass this large American flag up here and you will see how windy it is it is really blowing now and I'm not sure if you can hear that wind hitting the microphone or not but fortunately Final Cut Pro the newest version of Final Cut Pro which is what I use for software for editing software there's that flag Final Cut Pro has a new feature which is called voice isolation and it uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to be able to identify my voice on a recording and do its best to eliminate any other background sounds so I may be testing that on this video to eliminate some of that extraneous wind noise and uh, I'll do a couple of tests and you tell me uh, if you think it's better if it makes a difference so I've got the uh, oil changed I hope I'll have the final drive fluid changed before I leave town I may not I mentioned in my last video that I've laid out a new route uh, to West Texas it's going to take me a little bit longer to get there but it won't be just uh, going on interstates the whole way 
and it will be a uh, highway 180 Texas highway 180 route uh, to West Texas and I'll be going through quite a few small towns so I'm sure it'll take longer just because I'll have to slow down to go through these little towns but I kind of like traveling like that I don't I don't like interstates I don't know what's your method of road trip do you like getting on the interstate and going 80 90 miles an hour the whole time or would you prefer to take back roads and smaller roads uh, even if it takes you longer would you rather I rather travel like that I, I don't I don't like to be in a big hurry when I do a road trip. I kind of like to take my time. So this moto vlog today is uh, not sponsored by any particular company, as none of my moto vlogs usually are. However, uh, it's only possible because of those of you who support. Uh, my business through purchasing the Honda Goldwing maintenance videos and I have those on my website you can get all the information there for the fifth and sixth generation Goldwing uh, you can do your own maintenance on these motorcycles and save a ton of money over dealer labor charges and just like the oil change I did yesterday with a new DCT filter you know that can cost around two hundred dollars now at a dealership so just the oil change it's getting insane how expensive it is uh, for labor. If you can even find labor these days, it's hard to find anybody to leave work anymore. You know, I mentioned to you that uh, Ricky's mother passed away. It's going to take six weeks to get the death certificates out of Austin. And, uh, you know, I know when my mother passed away a few years back, well, actually, it's been a long time ago now, but. I think we had the death certificates in a couple of days, two or three days. And now it's six weeks. They just can't, nobody wants to work anymore. You just can't get anybody to work. The cruise man's working, getting this motorcycle ready to go. I will be testing out a couple of things on this trip. I will be testing out the new uh, Hopnell saddlebag liners that I have in my. Uh, saddlebag lids. I've already got them loaded up with tools and other gear and I'm just anxious to get back on the road. It, the weather should be decent. Hopefully it was not too windy and uh, hopefully I'll have a good ride out to West Texas. It, I'm waiting for some rainstorms to come through and pass. We're supposed to get rain tonight. Uh, we're supposed to get rain on Monday and Tuesday. Pretty heavy thunderstorms and I think after that maybe I'll be able to get out of town oh by the way for those of you interested <laughs> and if you are interested uh, you might be kinda a little strange but I did have my colonoscopy yesterday and that was always you know that's always fun doing that prep for a colonoscopy but uh, Actually, they had a new kind of prep this time. For those of you that have done it before, they had this new kind where you just take these tablets, these pills. You don't have to drink that big two-gallon jug of stuff. You just drink, uh, take these pills and drink water, and it, and it worked really good. And uh, I had a good, clean bill of health on the colonoscopy. So uh, I'm sure you're playing. I'd be glad to put the pictures up if those of you are interested. But... Uh, uh, probably you're not so I think it's a I think that's a topic that's more better or better suited not more suited but better suited for a crown and comments and I think we're gonna have a crown and comments coming up here uh, very shortly I got a lot of stuff to get on my off my chest and we'll do that then so anyway thanks for joining me today and uh, I'm going home I'm gonna cook a nice uh, standing rib roast today for dinner and all of you guys just have a great Sunday, ride safe out there. And I'll see you, oh, and don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button, that thumbs up, that really makes a huge difference. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.